All right, guys, good Saturday morning, if it's morning where you're at. We're ready to start today. Hi. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm gonna echo there. Um, Daniel, hi. Art 20, hi. Carol Hill, uh, we're starting, don't worry. Carlos, how's it going? All right, um, yeah, let's, let's jump right in and get started. So last week, um, I was working on this Christmas dragon and um, let's, you know what, let's do this. I'm gonna show you guys where, what I did over the week, cause I did work on it. So here's what we had before. This is what we were working on last week. I drew this during the stream. It was just a kind of a quick sketch, but uh, I kind of ended up really liking it. So, um, I decided to kind of work on it over the week and turn it into something that could be a finished drawing instead of just like a quick rough sketch. So, um, I cleaned up the line art quite a bit. Here's the new line art layer. Um, polished it up real nice and, um, got it definitely to a point where we can paint on it and, uh, have it be a finished image. Um, I put a little jingle bell, whoops. I put a little jingle bell collar on him, uh, change up the pose just a little bit, add a little bit more of a background, um, extended it so you could see his antlers and everything, just basically tightened everything up a bit more. Um, so yeah, that's where I'll just show you one more time where it was like before. Oh, and then another thing I added, so you could see on this guy, his he has a fur, I ended up taking the fur out. And uh, he also is a little bit smoother on like his back and stuff. And on the new one, I wanted him to have almost like this, like the, his back is like flat, right? Like you could see this ridge along his neck and the top of his head and then it goes down his back and his tail. Um, I really like that aspect. So I added that in there. Uh, and yeah, so then what ended up happening is I, I did a quick rough background. We're going to still finish painting this up today. Um, but I started working on it and realized that I just was not really feeling or digging the whole Christmas. Just It's still going to be a Christmas dragon, but just the color scheme wasn't working for me. So I decided to experiment a little bit with um, more of like a, a reindeer pattern. Um, and I actually, I don't know, some of you might be disappointed, but I really liked the, uh, the reindeer pattern. So I decided, I think that's what we're going to go with and, uh, continue painting from here. So I worked on it a little bit already and you can see where that's at now, um, with some of the lighting and stuff like that, but we still got a long ways to go, um, and some different things to, to work on. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, is going to be painting that. So for those of you who are new to the live stream, feel free to ask any questions you want. Um, pretty open, whether, you know, about art-related stuff or whatnot. doesn't have to be. But, um, yeah, we're going to get in here and start painting. So let me just take a look at the comments really quick before we start. Um, Carlos, I'm not redoing the painting process. I'm just going to be continuing it since we didn't really finish last time. So... I did change it, but um, I'm not like starting over in the stream. So, um, also trying to scarf some breakfast breakfast down. So, excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I've been using this reference photo of some actual reindeer. Help me pick some good colors and stuff like that. So, all right. So uh, now that I've showed you guys this Christmas layer, I think I'm gonna delete it since we're not gonna use it. Well, let's, oh, we'll just throw it down here at the bottom where it's not my way, but we'll hold on to it just in case. All right, so I am on this layer here. This is the layer I've been painting on. And I actually think maybe we should move this on top of the line art so we can work on starting to uh, cover some of that up a bit. 
All right. Perfect. There's really like so much to do on this that I almost don't even know where to start, but would you guys start somewhere? I'm gonna lower the line art opacity just a little bit so we can see more clearly what we're working with. All right. So we are, let's come down here to the wing to start off today. And um, the lighting, oh, thanks, Karma. Um, the lighting I wanted to do where he's kind of backlit, almost lit from the side, and um, the rest of the lighting will be sort of ambient, um, ambient light from the sky. So we'll have a slight blue tinge to it, and it also won't be very strong or really very bright for that matter. But that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna use a round brush for this. I'm kind of, I mean, you guys have to tell me what you like or not, but I'm a little worried that the painting process is gonna be not make for not that exciting of a live stream. I think the idea phase and the coming up with the drawing part is a lot more entertaining and interesting because uh, I don't know, you guys can interact a little bit more and put your feedback in. And uh, it just seems like stuff develops a bit faster. Um, but I don't know, I guess in the, in the painting side, it can seem kind of repetitive or monotonous. So that being said, um, yeah, if we get this to a certain point, we might just call it good and uh, I'll finish on my own time and we can start painting on something else. Also want to uh, I can get it to come down. There we go. Much better. Okay. At least for me, I don't think it changes anything for you guys, but uh, it does make it a lot easier for me to see. Yeah. I need to go back and let's fix that a little bit. Uh, we can make it even bluer. All right, let's see. Um, I like the painting press because it's what I find a lot harder than the line art. By the way, could you please share your general process for painting? Um, I mean, I guess that's kind of what I'm doing right now is showing you my general process. Um, I'm not sure what exactly more you mean by that. Honestly, though, it's not really the same every time. Um, it kind of depends on the painting. Some paintings I will paint one way because that kind of just suits the style I'm going for. And other times I'll paint in a completely different process just because that's what is gonna work best for the painting. So, you know, it, it kind of depends honestly sometimes on what it is that I'm, that I'm working on. All right. Um, let's see. Um, 
Oh, okay, thanks. So, no, no comments. Do you guys have any other questions today? Anything you guys want to chat about? Anyone seen the new Spider-Man movie yet? Get into the Spider-Verse? I have. It was awesome. Definitely, definitely recommend it. It was fantastic. Very well done. <clears throat> nobody, nobody's seen the Spider Man. I mean, you guys are kill me. It's like a it's like dead silent in here. All right, yeah, I need to knock this down just a little bit. All right, well, this week I tried uh, to put forth a pretty good effort to uh, make videos that you guys had requested. Um, I obviously didn't get around to all of them, but uh, what else do you guys want to see? I probably won't be doing a video every day next week just because it's Christmas and stuff. Um, and I'm going to be we're doing some new things for January. Uh, I think I'm going to start trying to get some more live streams in as well as um a couple of different things we're gonna do i'm gonna get a facebook page up and running for our for the sketches sketch group so that when we live stream you can also be drawing and post your work afterwards in the sketch group um stuff like that um but yeah so as long as as far as the uh as far as the videos go what more types of videos do you want to see what type of tutorials and stuff would you like me to do? So Karma asked, do you have exercises that can help with shading that aren't dealing with super basic shapes, but are simpler than a complex object? 
So not simple, not complex, somewhere in the middle. Um, well, I'm not sure you define as super basic, like, um, like if you just talk about like cubes and uh, cylinders and spheres and stuff like that. But what you could try would be um, what I would recommend anyways, would be draw, getting like a, making a couple shapes um, that have like a really weird outline. Like I'll show you what I mean. Make a new layer here. Little mini, little mini class. All right. So what I'd recommend is doing this. So we'll get, oops, try again. would be starting with something like this <clears throat> and then um, using your airbrush or whatever it is you're going to use to paint and trying to create some good shading and shadow effects. So like for example, Working on stuff like this, where you start with just the shadows before you move on to any sort of light uh, or highlight. And you really just focus on using one, basically one value for any of your shadows. And you work your way across, and you can create it however you want. That's what's kind of cool about it. And just sort of pick a shape and go with it. See if you can create some nice, believable looking shadows. And then go from there. That's what I would do. That's what I recommend. That's what I teach in my online courses. Um, and then you can, I mean, you can make it as detailed or as simple as you'd like. And what you're really focusing on is getting your values right and your soft and hard edges. So that's really what's going to make things feel like they have any sort of form or transition to them. And then if you wanted, you could do the same thing, but with light. And you're just basically switching back and forth between your eraser and your paintbrush and practicing on something that you don't have to be super worried about if it gets messed up or looks bad or not. Because you're just trying to be real simple. Anyways, does that make sense? Does that answer your question? I hope uh, that's what I'd recommend. I don't know if that you would still consider that too basic, too complex, but um, do that for a little bit, but really just jump in and start painting stuff. Um, even if it seems hard, you're better off giving it a crack and working your way up to that than just trying to avoid the difficult things. 
uh, in my opinion. So that would be my advice to you. Now I'm getting carried away drawing this weird shape thing. Anyways, that's uh, that's all I have to say on that. Get rid of that stuff. We get back to our Christmas dragon. Um, let's see. Yeah, not just using cubes. That makes sense. And use the eraser for hard edges of shadows. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on how I'm painting. That's one way you can do it. Um, using the... Uh, doing it that way makes you have to go back and forth between your eraser tool and your brush a lot, but it helps you get really smooth uh clean edges um but if you want to do it a uh, you know <clears throat> with just your brush you can do that as well but either way either way whichever way you do it make sure you don't neglect the uh that you have that available the eraser tool it's i think it's really handy all right back to our Christmas dragon. All right, well, any other questions? You guys are pretty quiet today. Anyone have any exciting plans for the holidays? Any movie recommendations?
let's get uh, some of the highlights over here on the tail. I'll try this out for snow, see how it does. Might like it, might not. But uh, we're gonna find out here. On this layer, of course. Let's see, I played any new board games lately? Um, let's see, I played, I'm trying to think here. I feel like I did, I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, played Smash Up, I got that game. I don't know if you've, it's not quite a board game, it's a card game, but um, yeah, Smash Up was pretty fun. You take, um, you basically, you get two, you choose any two factions and they just have like a whole, bunch like a crazy different things like aliens robots dinosaurs ninjas like all sorts of stuff like that and um you take two factions they each have 20 cards you smash them together and then you basically fight i guess it's pretty fun i like that game um so far, Rising Sun has been my favorite. If anyone's played that, man, that game's a masterpiece. But that one, I just backed the Blood Rage Kickstarter. I'm pretty big into uh, into board games. I think they're a fun thing to do with friends and family. We do that quite a bit. Probably play a lot <clears throat> over Christmas and stuff. So I'm excited about that. I need to work on <clears throat> painting snow. It doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look great either. I don't know. 
play a couple times. It's fun. Which faction do you like best? The Rising Sun. Um, oh man, that's hard to say. I really, really like Lotus Clan. Um, <clears throat> Lotus Clan is... I don't know. I think it might be one of the best. Um, the Lotus Clan is fun. I really like being able to um, control what mandates get played and stuff like that. And then I also like Dragonfly Clan. I've actually painted not all of it, but I've painted most of mine so far. Um, and it's been really fun. And Dragon Cl Dragonfly Clan is the first one I painted. So I also like Turtle Clan. I, they're not quite as strategic, but they're fun to just kind of smash. But yeah. All right. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to need to do some more work on this, but for today, that's as far as I'm going to go. But we got some done. I got some Christmas re Christmas presents and stuff to wrap, but um, sure, let me know in the comments what else you guys would like to see. And um, thanks for tuning in. Um, next year, I plan to have something set up where you guys can post art that you make while you sketch along with me and uh yeah i think i'm gonna stick with drawing for live streams from now on just because it seems like there's more engagement i like it when you guys get to have more input onto what i draw and uh what you want to look like so anyways thanks for tuning in guys i hope you have a great holiday season with whatever holiday it is you're gonna celebrate and i will see you guys in the next one bye